Oh, hi, this is Mike Torino. This is going to be episode four of the Royal Enfield series. In today's video, I want to talk about what happens if you do go to a two into one pipe um, with the kickstand and the center stand. So what you're going to find is because you had two two pipes before, they put these long projected access uh, points for your feet so you can get the kickstand down and then even worse is the center stand you can see how this was made to come around the pipe which is great but then of course when you delete the pipe on the left side I, I've been getting my leg my pant leg hung up on this sometimes which is aggravating it possibly could be dangerous and like I said, worse when this center stand is up, this peg here, uh, you know, the, what do you call it, the peg for the center stand is way out here. And that's even more dangerous, plus it's just unsightly. So what I'm going to do today is to shorten, <clears throat> shorten these things up. Um, I was going to cut this one down on the kickstand and just have a little nib here but I, I'm changing my mind I think I'm going to completely remove this from the, the kickstand itself because I, I still think I can get my heel or my toe up on here to get this down without, without this and uh, if it turns out I do need it I could just weld it back up so project one is to remove the kickstand and get it in the vise and then remove this, this nib here. And then for the center stand, when I get this back on, uh, I'm going to remove the center stand and see how much of this I can get rid of. I'm thinking, you know, probably maybe two inches or an inch and a half, we're gonna see you know, I don't want to make it too hard to get it up on a center stand with your foot, but at the same time, I want to find a way to shorten this so it's not uh, sticking out so bad. So let's see what we got to do. I think the, the kickstand itself is just held on by a cotter pin. And that's it, just a cotter pin and a washer. Now the spring. That's a different story. It might spring back on me when I take that pin out. But let's see if we can get the see if we can get the spring off first before I pull that pin. All right, it's going to be fun getting back on. I tell you that. So I need to get my vise available, and this is my flip table that I built a while ago, and. Uh, these the two top parts of the table um, flip and then gives me access to the tools that are underneath so let's see if we can get it flipped two spring loaded pins on each side and I've got a safety pin in the middle here just a matter of releasing those pins and flipping it up. It's kind of heavy depending on what you're going to put on it. So now I have access to my vise. So I think I'm just going to use a uh, cutoff wheel to get rid of this. I'm going to take the welds off with it. This is my 110 grinder uh, that I brought from home. I plan to use my 110 tools until they just don't work anymore and then I'll upgrade to 220. But until then I use this, uh, I've got a couple of these transformers that I use to get back down to 110. So what, what I plan to do is just 
I'll probably start with this one, just make some cuts and get everything including the weld and then reposition and get this one. You know what else is what I was thinking is I've seen a lot of advertisements for like an extension foot, a bigger foot for the uh, side stand in case you're in loose soil or gravel or stuff like that. But uh, and so I was thinking about making my own with just some. Uh, I got some a lot of angle bar laying around. Maybe I could make a bigger foot. But uh, that might be a project for later because I want to see what it looks like on the bike before I weld anything on there. So I'm just going to clean the rest of this up. We'll treat it and paint it. Yeah, here's what we got. Right. I don't want to take too much metal off, but we've got that hole there where the weld was. And I think I'm going to fill that. But I'm going to wait until uh, <clears throat> I decide to <clears throat> whether I'm going to extend this foot. I was thinking like <clears throat> some scrap, scrap steel here <clears throat> and do something like this. And then, then just round the edges, make that a little wider. So if you're in some sand or loose soil would be a little bit more stable so do I want to do it now I don't know because I've got to do the center stand let's just wait on this and then one thing I've got to get is some kind of dust solution because it's everywhere I need to hook up a vacuum and I've got hoses I just need to vacuum that I can mount on the ceiling or on the wall I think if I do come back and and put the stability uh, foot on here, I think I'll powder coat it. Whereas today I'm just going to clean it up and put some regular spray paint on it. All right, I'm back under the bike. I got the uh, the revised kickstand. And I only had uh, some <clears throat> flat black paint, so I just used flat, flat black and I painted the whole thing. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. So let's go ahead and install it because we're going to have to use it to get the center stand off. But now the interesting part, I think, is going to be getting this big spring back on. That is the easiest way just to put the spring on first and then muscle it up, muscle it up onto the boss and then get your pin in. get the pin in you could use your pry bar and line up the hole I mean once you get your spring on use your pry bar to line that hole up Remove 
to the uh, access point, whatever you want to call it, from the kickstand. There's no rubber. There's no rubber stopper on there. That might be a project number three, just to get a little rubber stopper on, so it doesn't clang when you put stand up. All right. So anyway, uh, I'm going to move on to part two, which is going to be getting the bike down on the side stand and removing the center stand, and seeing how much we want to take off of that protrusion. Now you can see uh, with a really good view, I, I hope, that how far this this sticks out because normally your your pipe was, was here, right? Say when you're up and riding, how far that sticks out. It looks really weird. Like I said before, I think it's a little dangerous myself. Get your pant legs stuck up on there, you get your leg in between your foot peg and that. Whew, could be bad. So I'm gonna shorten that up as much as I can. I don't know how much right now, but I'm thinking, I wonder if this, this whole part could go away and you know just use this as your as your plate you know your call it a boot plate you know whatever you want to call it but that would be what you put your weight on to get your side stand up and a bike up on it but it won't be easy uh, but let's see it won't be as easy as using this but let me put the camera down and let's see. I'll try to use this, you know, to get the bike up on the, on the stand and see how it works. One hand here, one hand on, on the rack for the saddlebag. That's not bad. I think I can cut it off here cut this pad off and weld that weld that here and that would give me extra foot power and get rid of like what well, almost more than three inches of ugliness so I'm gonna cut it off there I'm gonna cut this pad off and weld that pad on here and I think that'll work let's we'll see what happens okay one of life's little surprises I don't know about the OEM pipes but to uh, remove the center stand with the SNS I have to either remove the exhaust or I'm gonna try to loosen it up and see if I can get enough room to get the pin out. It's the long pin that, uh, you know, where the center stand pivots and it won't come out because it's hitting, it's hitting the exhaust right before the, right before the baffle. So even taking the baffle off is not enough. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna loosen the back here and that'll give me some leeway here. And then I'm gonna loosen up the header nuts and see if I can get enough play to get this center stand uh, pin out. Okay, I, <clears throat> I let the, the back down and it wasn't enough so I, I had to pull the header off just uh, just a wee bit and it's not that bad but now it gives me clearance to get this pin. This is the pin that I have to pull out now. All right. If you watch any part of this video, please watch this. I'm, I'm glad I did this because if I didn't, there'd, there'd be serious problems. Look what I found. This is almost rubbed through my swing arm. 
in one place here, but most of all right here. And that swing arm's not that thick. This is the bracket that SNS provides, and it's been chomping away at my swing arm for about 800 kilometers. How's that rub you? <laughs> Damn. So now I'm not sure what to do with this. All right, I'm back on the project. I'm gonna have to deal with that exhaust problem after this. Uh, so what, back to the original idea for the center stand. I'm gonna cut it right here, like a bevel cut. And then I'm gonna take this piece, the original foot, foot pad, I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'm gonna bring it back here and weld it on top of here. And that's gonna, you know, that's gonna give me Gonna cut up here. Oh, geez, I mean, if you if you look look at it that way, it's almost five and a half inches of of I know ugliness sticking out of the side of your bike. So I'm gonna start doing some cutting. And sorry about the wind noise. There's uh, that's the wind uh, buffeting my garage doors. This is how something like it'll look like once this is welded up. I think that'll be a good angle for it. Let's weld it from underneath. And it should be fine. The, the revised foot pad has been shortened and welded up. I'm going to reinstall it. Now hold it off on the cotter pin in case I have to take this back off. But that's the that's the new look. So here's the here's the pin. And this is a double spring that it's, it wasn't that hard. It was easier than than the kickstand. But that's that's fully up right there. There is a, a rubber pad on this one. One of these springs is easier than the other. I'm gonna find that one first. This one. That's the end of this project for the side stand and the center stand. More to come on the exhaust problem, but let's take a look at how these uh, center stands and side stand look now. I've got the bike in a vertical position, and uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't think to take a before shot, but I'll find one somewhere in my in my footage. But that looks much much better. In my opinion, get everything tucked away a little better. When I'm on the machine, you can see my leg can 
freely moved between the foot peg and the back of the bike, and that wasn't the case before. So that's improvement all alone by itself. And then if I want to come on the bike and I still want the kickstand right there, no issues. Look how easy it is. You don't have that big protrusion. Let's see what it looks, what it feels like when I try to get it up on the center stand. So the bike's vertical position. I want to park center stand. Slightly more effort. It's definitely slightly more effort. But when you're wearing boots, you're not going to notice much difference. And I think it looks pretty good all together with the kickstand. So that was about four hours of work this morning. Uh, I hope someone can use it if you have a two into one exhaust. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.